Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, we're actually going to VOD myself for the first time on the channel. So, actually, that's a lie. I did VOD myself before um, in a test event video. I forgot about that. But, yeah, we're going to be VODing myself in this video in solos. It was the Solo College Cup. Uh, pretty Mickey Mouse, nothing too crazy. It was easy. But, and all these end games that I played, I was not really too happy with, except for this one the third with four kills and the reason I was happy with this endgame is because I played it very well with no grapple no grapple whatsoever max zones and it was beautiful from me so we're gonna VOD review that game so you guys can learn how to play end games without a grapple I feel like it's really important because sometimes all the grapples are taken maybe you don't land on a grapple etc etc so I think you guys will learn a lot from this video also use code DV in the Fortnite item shop to support me really appreciate it and let's get right in this video guys one solo game from this college cup. I know it's just a college cup and it's not that like skillful or anything, but um there's some things I did very well this end game without a grapple that I want you guys to see. Alright. I'm gonna skip a little bit. I just wanna show you guys like how well my rotates were this game, bro. Like it's just a college cup, but I was I was like pretty um on top of my rotates here all right i don't get a good fourth well i get a good fourth zone i'm lying um i want you guys to see all right so right now i'm clearing my back i am scouting my back because i want to make sure my back is cleared before i rotate it looks clear to me i start going to the right because I see the elevation here of the LOS on this mountain. So I can have a free rotate in if I just use the LOS on this mountain. Also, I can get away from these kids in zone right here that are in front of me. I could do a little wrap around the hill right here and come in uh, at the top. So that that's what my plan was before the rotate. I start going and I see this kid, Young Knack TTV. I was like, oh, I didn't see him when I was trying to clear my back. I'll let him go. I'll go behind him. I'm shooting the guy behind me so I can give myself some space away from him. And I get shot. So, I pop a big. I try shooting that guy. I don't know. He's just getting, like, jumped in on. I elevate here on edge a bit. Clearing my back to make sure there's no one behind me so that I don't have to put a cone on my head. And, yeah, that was my rotate. Not too bad. No grapple, by the way, this game. And my rotates were just so good. All right, max half and half. Since my back is kind of cleared, I know that I can um, go all the way to the right. I see this kid going. I know I'm not going to follow him. I'm not following this guy's rotate. I don't like what he's doing. So I can shoot him because it doesn't matter if he stops rotating because I'm going a different way anyways. I don't crack him on purpose, by the way. I don't want him to grief my game. Alright, I start going now. I have this side to myself. Because I cleared my back. I see Nounzi spraying someone. So I don't want to keep going. Then this kid is following me. I'm going to make him stop following me. This kid is like, what are you doing? This guy is dumb. Rotate. Nounzi leaves, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go. But on a rotate like this, you gotta be the one in control. You cannot get bitched on a rotate like this. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. You gotta be the one in control. Hey, most of your rotates, you should probably be the one leading the charge. And just like, bitching all the other teams. You know, that kid gets cracked. I hit him 30 white. Um, I see a lot of open space to my right, and I see the whole lobby looking at me. Actually, this rotate wasn't perfect for me, so I don't know why I'm gassing it up. I tried jumping on this kid because he's weak, but I don't tunnel it. I know I still have to rotate. This kid goes first. Um, this is the reason why I didn't want to go first, because he started getting lobbied, because I saw so much open space in that area. So I was like, uh, let me not go first on a rotate like this. This guy goes first. Free kill for me. Refresh. 
big mistake I make here, I should be staying on low. I should stay on the grass. Me elevating is putting more eyes on myself. I don't know if that makes sense. More people can lobby me the more I elevate. So finally I realized the drop, which is the smart thing to do. Um, I get in. I don't want to get any deeper in because I don't want to get myself lobbied. So I'm just going to chill. Get ready for the next rotate. And look at my mats. 4, 3, 4. No grapple. Max half and half rotate. Not bad. And then this is fun. Max first moving rotate. I scout. I know that dead side is to the right. I look at the LOS to the right. It goes up and then down. So that's really good. Because it's so easy to rotate when it goes down elevation. Um, I sprint to this refarm. Farm some brick. Sprint to this refarm. Slide. Free little run. But then this guy is sliding on my back. So I'm forced to build. Don't want to do a no build challenge for too long. Burn some bricks so I can get to this refarms. Sit here to recharge my sprint. My sprint is recharged. It pulls up. I know I need to elevate. Burning my wood first moving so I can save my hearts for later. I elevate. Find some... Well, I look at height. I glance at it. I know I don't have the mats for height. For height. But if height was free, I would have went for it. But since height wasn't free, I didn't go for it. So good, like, patience for me and, like decision making I feel like. So I just chill. I let him have fight. I don't have the mats for it. I don't want to play it. But it's always good to look. So I was looking back for maybe a potential kill, but I don't stagger too long. I don't stagger with zone on my back. Run over these old builds, and I don't mind playing a low layer for second moving to try and get kills. Box right here. I'm not going to start healing until my builds are done building. Pop my big. It pulls back, I know it pulls back, I know there's old builds there, so I do a little sprint, slide down, try and get some old builds. I didn't want to go in, in those old builds because a kid probably had edits there, so I chose these. Uh, I want to keep dropping because I want to play for uh, refresh. I'm not going to be able to find a refresh really on too high of a layer. It also pulls down elevation, so playing a low layer is nice here. I just build two boxes, give myself some space. I'm not full tarping, but I'm making myself some space to look for a kill. Um, there's nothing there. I do a little sprint to get front, old builds. I get to them, break ahead, give myself some more space. 300 metal this late is not even that bad. So I was conserving very well. Oh, do a little sprint down here. Um, I find some chugs. Oh, I got 500 wood out of that too. So it's really good to recognize when the zone pulls back into places that people were already boxed up at or stuff like that. You might find some old loot, so good recognition on that. Find some old loot. Um, I'm using the extra wood right there. This kid wants to box fight me. He has leverage on me because he's in front of me, so I'm like, nah, let me get out of there. Uh, and this is perfect because while I'm tax sprinting out of there, because I wanted to get deeper in because I didn't want to be on edge, um, it pulls this way, so that's perfect. I'm already going this way. Give myself some space. It's okay to burn mats when you have mats. Don't be too greedy. Um, just reloading on my guns. Then I'm going to sprint again. I know if I just keep doing, getting front, I'm going to get a good place in this game. I'm just getting front. Kill this kid. Um, I love how I don't just jump down for the mats. I love, to make I love how I make sure that the mats were in a safe place. space so I don't just run out and die. Definitely should have picked up the SMG right there, but forgot to do that. Get front, armored wall before he burns all my mats on height, which is good. Um, I'm getting ready to box fight this guy on my lair because this is my lair, not his. And zone pulls. This is actually an unlucky pull for me. Um, I try and take front low. I do. Now. I don't want this guy in my box. Why would I take a 50 here? So I make another box. Try and give myself an advantage. I want to... I did it like... In my mind, I'm like, okay. Let me make sure I take good angles here. Even in the late end game like this. You don't want to make 50 angles. A little pre-fire on him. And then I build a wall. He gets shot at. I edit like a wall like that. Because I know he's 1 HP. Kill him. 
This guy does a good job at pressuring me right after I get the kill because I was trying to get the mats. I have one build. I do a 50. Miss the first shot. Hit the second shot. Dead to an SMG. Unfortunate. But I actually just re really thought I played that end game well for no grapple. A third place with no grapple? Not bad. Definitely could have done better if I reacted to that kid on my layer right after I killed that other kid. So I could have placed higher this game potentially. But I feel like I played it very well. So I just wanted to show you guys that end game for me.